What's up, everybody? Today we have a recommendation from Roger. Roger, you brought us to Soundgarden. Soundgarden, hands Roger. all over. Thank you, Roger. Wow, yeah. right? I'm all excited over to check it. out some Soundgarden. Go. <laughs> Garden. Great rhythms, man. It's, Just uh, dry, dry and heavy and signature. it's kind of gritty. side lick i don't know it's like I'm almost playing a solo but it's not but it's like the lead guitar in some of the sections over the rhythm sections they've done it like two or three times with the guitar mm -hmm. oh that's incredible you know what i'm talking about yeah.
drumming was incredible the drumming in the bass in the pocket was really outstanding on this song man i was did not expect this from soundgarden it was such really? a it almost reminded me of like a tool like an undertow kind of sound and rhythm yeah. like with the basses locked in with the bass drums and the beat the drummer was, the drummer was incredible yeah. on this but yeah i i thought it was signature classic soundgarden um with the song but it definitely blew me away mm-hmm it was extremely impressive and mm -hmm. um his vocals he, he's always he's like in like my top three all time like best singers best vocalist um Chris definitely mm -hmm. there were some sections and, go um, ahead mm -hmm. no go ahead oh um there were some sections in this that um where he like locked in really well with the song because there were certain sections on this he said i don't know how i don't this is newer like like before they got into their peak prime mm -hmm. of what Soundgarden really became, what they yeah. accomplished. So I think I'm hearing a really raw sound of Soundgarden right now. Because yeah. there were certain sections of his vocals, I was like, oh, it's not really there. And then really? sections where he fell in the pocket and I was like, there it is, dude. Uh -huh. So I don't know if this is earlier on in their career. That's just me, what I heard of a certain the, sections. The um, image we had uh, looks like it maybe, yeah. Uh, because some of them were really high like, and he was just wailing for so long, yes. and there were certain sections where he fell, like, right into the pocket. And I was like, oh, that I, I, I think we're hearing a rawer version of them from what they, uh, like, became, like, greatness, right. you know, songwriters reached, and putting yeah, on music. So, but... I loved it. Yeah, I really did, too. So, Roger, thank you so much. Um, we're going to go on to the next song that you did uh, uh, recommend. I'm, I'm sorry. No. Did you Did you want to touch on the lyrics? Um, oh yeah, so this because is, there was um, like a line that he kept. I was like, oh okay, where um, he was like, kill your mother, um, right? Is that the? Um, yeah, he's talking about like Mother Earth, mother Mother Nature, Mother Mother Earth, like yeah. um, stuff that um, um, people on uh, on the planet on Mother Earth, you know, live here on Mother Earth, and mm -hmm. sometimes disasters happen, like oil spills or something along those lines, yeah. you know, what causes massive so, damage. So, Mother Earth so, is what he meant with, with Yeah, that, like kill like, your oh, mother because these yeah. disasters kind of, you know, unfortunately occur from mm -hmm. in history from time to time. There was and it has massive damage on, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, or at least that's, I think, you know, when I read the lyrics and I was like, you know, so that's a good, I'm glad you brought up the lyrics because, yeah, it was, that's I'm maybe sure why. That's something definitely that he was willing about. I'm glad you brought it up yeah. because now it explains more of how intense and high he was singing and how much yeah. passion was like put into passion. the song. So, yeah. He meant the message, though. Until next one. <laughs> 